Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. There is chow, and then there is the ultimate mango chow. Was down on the islands. My friend David wears over at Fruity Run TT. Chris, I got a chow for you to taste. How good can a chow be? Then I had it. Now, this here is not the original recipe. I will never disrespect the owner of this recipe. This is my take on the recipe, but I'm using the ingredients. She used Salisha Rampersad. Thanks a lot for this one, baby. I'm gonna rock this one out. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. where things will start getting interesting now typically in a chow you will use shadow benny or what we or what's also known as uh, culantro and i like using shadow benny in this case i'm lucky enough to get it if you cannot get it you can use cilantro the thing with cilantro is that i find it's a bit too mild for this so if you have both options please go the route of using the shadow benny two caribbean sunshine some bird's eye or bird pepper and some jalapeno and I'm going to show you what uh, for the jalapeno we just want nice thin slices but this is some somewhat like a pickle if you know anything about chow it's pretty much we're pickling a spicy spicy pickle and the jalapeno will work ideally so the jalapeno is nice and sliced the scotch bonnet however what I'm going to do is again slice that up but I'm going to go a little bit further I'm going to turn it around, slice it again, and please wear gloves when doing this. And then I'm going to go with my knife and rock back and forth on it because I want really nice small pieces. The seeds and everything, this is going to be very fiery. A good chow is supposed to be fiery in my humble opinion. And for the bird's eye pepper, um, chili or, or bird pepper as we call it, what we're going to do, and this is a trick I learned from my friend Chef Mark, we're going to leave them whole. But we're going to give them little, little tiny cuts. And that's going to help seep out. So tiny, tiny cuts on there. Maybe about three or four cuts. It's going to seep out and help pepper everything and give us some of the flavor without too much of that raw heat. So I've got all that mango prepared here. Now when you want a really tart mango, the more tart it is. So this is not a fully ripe mango. This is what we call a half ripe mango. It could have been a bit more green small thing when you're shopping for it you want to press your finger on the skin of the mango and you want it to be nice and firm almost to the point where it's hard where it doesn't give at all so in goes all that scotch bonnet pepper all chopped up if you had a food process processor and you wanted to do it use that and said you can certainly use that remember what i said gloves we've got the jalapeno and all the ingredients i use here today will be listed down in the description of the video as i normally do the bird's eye chili or bird's eye pepper and I'm just scraping off the last bit of garlic in there I already went in with some and you would notice something about chow chow is filled it's packed with bold flavors like you know the spiciness of those peppers the shadow benny the garlic and stuff like that. it is all about you know interesting and bold flavors and one of the reasons why I'm doing this recipe today other than the fact that I was truly impressed by that chow that um, that Salisha via David um, had me taste is that um, it works great with with um, with being outdoors and, and hosting people and going to people's homes and stuff like that so if this summer you're going over to someone's home for a barbecue and again it's July month of grilling while we're not grilling it is a great something to take to take with you we will need to juice two limes so we need that acidity. If you don't have limes and you want to use lemons, um, I'm going to say rock what you got. Next up, we're going to go in with a chopped up shadow benny. 
And you're probably thinking, Chris, well, there's nothing different about this chow other than the fact that you went in with three different types of pepper. We need a nice big whack of salt in there as well. The key ingredient, the thing that the game changer as far as I'm concerned, before we do that, let's go in with some water. And there's a reason for all that water in there. I know some of you are probably thinking, well, that's too much water. I probably need some more. But the game changer, and I think, and I'm talking about what set this chow aside from all the others. Stay tuned. Here we go. I don't know how many of you know what this is, but this is what we call salt prunes. Now, this is the red color version. There's also the white color version. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she had used the white color version. I could be wrong, but this is all I can find here in Canada. This one is compliments of my sister, actually. At her roti shop, she sells this. So we're just gonna cut that open now, and we're gonna shake in all that salt prunes in there. And that is why I added so much water, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix this up and jar it, and then, we're gonna allow it to sit in the fridge for a day or two before you start enjoying it. I'm telling you, man, this is the ultimate mango chow. Go on Instagram, go on Facebook, go on Twitter, call your nene. I'm telling you, they're all gonna confirm the same thing. This is the best chow you will ever have, guaranteed. So the sort of, ooh, look at that. So that channel, Benny, thought it was gonna escape. Not today, Dre. The last step is to give everything a nice mix. Just look at them colors, boy. And when that salt prunes start to take on that liquid, it's gonna plump up. It's gonna release a nice salty goodness in there as well, too. Here now, this is the perfect thing to serve for big people, eh? Kids. <laughs> Good luck, little children. Oh, they can't eat it. July month of grilling. We ain't grill again today, but yeah, that's this thing real bad boy. Oh gosh, it's real nice. But patience. Now, you will want this to marinate a bit. Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys how I'm gonna do this. And this is the sort of tip that I saw here from Celicia as well. She went and had it served up in glass jars like this. So that is how I am going to do it. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge after and let that marinate in there. You really want to mix it up ever so often. Give it a nice little shaky shake. Mr. Prunes going there through. Thanks for joining me today in the kitchen. July month of grilling continues. We're gonna get to grilling in the next episode. I know the first episode we did that garlic sauce. The second episode we did this amazing mango chow. Um, compliments of David. Um, David and Celicia, thank you guys so much for joining me in the kitchen. Hit the thumbs up. Join me on Instagram at Caribbean Pot. And yo, stay tuned. More big things coming, man. Close up time. Whoop, whoop. My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.